All right, so this is Kenny Santos out of Toronto, Canada for KennySantos.com. Do you want to know the two biggest mistakes that network marketers make when it comes to their business? And ultimately, these two mistakes, they really impact uh, their success. They really impact how long they stay in the business. They really impact whether they feel scammed or burned or not. They really, It really impacts whether they're their attitude towards, uh, you know, what trying something new or stepping out of their comfort zone. And the two biggest mistakes are this is number one, something you've heard me say before, something that you've heard other trainers say before is that they just don't talk to enough people. They think they're talking to a lot of people. They think they're doing work because they're studying their comp plan or they're studying about their product or they're learning more about the CEO and they're watching videos on YouTube and getting pumped up and hyped up about everything. And you know what? That's not working your business. Working your business is talking to people and talking to people can take the form of different things. It could be reaching out to people on social media. It could be cold calling. It could be, it could be texting your warm market. It could be three foot ruling. There's a whole bunch of things that you could be doing that will impact your success. However, watching videos on YouTube, even if it's about your business, even if your company has released 500 videos, and you say, you know what? I'm just not going to get started. I'm not ready to get started until I watch all these videos. Probably going to watch them twice. Obviously, you know what? The person that waits isn't going to be successful, then they're going to, it's going to be a week or two later and they're going to say, well, I've been in this business for two weeks and nothing's happening. This is not for me. Or you know what? I, you know, this is a big scam. Ultimately, if you don't do work, you don't do income producing activities, you're not going to be making money. The second thing is this, and, and this really comes from a scarcity mentality. They don't have a, an abundant mentality is they spend too much time with prospects that will never, ever join. You see, either your prospect likes it or they don't. And that has everything to do with them and mostly nothing to do with you, your product, your opportunity, whatever the case may be. You know what? Your product may be needed all around the world and you might think that everyone on the planet would benefit from it. And you might be right. Maybe everyone on the planet would benefit from your magical juice or your awesome potion or your you know essential oil or whatever it is. They may benefit from it. That doesn't mean that they that your prospect is going to want it, all right? Uh, you know, it's kind of like organic vegetables. We know we should be eating more organic vegetables, but we don't, all right? Most people don't because, you know what, they just don't want to spend the money. They don't care enough about the benefits of the organic vegetables to, to pay the surplus amount. So if you're trying to sell, you know what, a $100 or an $80 uh, jar of face cream and your prospect is used to buying ponds for $6 a month, it's going to be a tough one because they just don't put value in it. Is it better for them? Probably. Is it better for them? Yes, it is. 100% it is. But they don't care enough. And so don't spend time with prospects that will never join. You're better off looking for more people that do put value into your product or do put more value into themselves. What will happen is this, is you'll be able to help more people. You'll be able to um, get more sales. You'll be able to bring more value into the marketplace. And when you do bring more value into the marketplace, you create more income for yourself. If you spend one, all of your time following them on that one prospect that, you know what, they just don't seem to get it. It's you that's wasting your time. You're wasting your time when you could have talked to 10 more people and maybe only eight of those people would have said no. And two of them would have said yes. However, you know what, instead of getting those two yeses, you spent the next three days trying to convince your friend that they should join your business or buy your product or whatever the case may be. Don't do that, all right? First, first mistake is this to avoid. Don't talk to enough people, so you should be talking to more people. And two, be quick to disqualify. Say less to more people. Don't stand there trying to convince people. Too many people try to convince. Too many people spend too much time on prospects that will never join. Don't you be that one of those people. So I trust you got some great value out of this. What I invite you to do is this, to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Also, if you want to see more videos just like this, go to my blog. It's KennySantos.com. <coughs> Excuse me. You put your name and email in, you're going to get an awesome audio on growing your business. Remember this. Every day, multiple times a day, the universe sends us miracles. We only have to do two things. We got to recognize those miracles. <coughs> Excuse me. And we got to accept them, right? Take care and create a great day.